Mayfield tightens up out of three and four. The green is out. Macedonia jumps the green. Whiteman tucks in for second. John McEwen third. McEwen trying to hold on to the outside. He's got Robert Slow working the inside. And that goal number four, McEwen, the back end starts to slide out. But look at the 28. Then it comes working the outside. Contact between the leaves. The 92 of Macedonia goes around. Everybody trying to slow up. And Robert Slow runs out of that roof as she makes some great contact there in turn number four. Well, it doesn't take too long to start here. The leader, Jay Macedonia. Getting ready to go back to Green. Eddie Moore looks him over. They hit the stripe. Green is high in the air. with back underway. And Blayman quickly gets the jump over the queue. Who's coming up to the end. She's just a little bit slow. But look at the Toyota of Mike Buck on the outside. One of the only Toyotas. There's one other being built by Dean Manville, but it's not ready yet. The only Toyota in competition right now is Mike Butts of the 63. He runs up at the fourth spot. That should be done. Good. He's not going to give it up. Joe LeMay is in that spot, and he does not want to give it up to Mike Butts. Mike Butts. Butts works the high side. Look at Johnny Kipp through the back. Trying to make it through right as does Kevin Casper as McHugh gets a little bit squarely off the turn four. And Kevin Casper working the outside masterfully quickly up into the second goal line. Into three, into one and two. Macedonia has to check up, but George will go out to the outside with the 64. They all need to show at 64. Mike Butts having problems in turn three goes around. Then to keep that truck fired, we stay in the green. Nice job by Mike Butts to keep the truck going. A little bit of smoke out of the back of the 22, the Hugh Bowser 22. He made the move up for the mini stocks last year. A mini stock standout, if you will. And now he tries his hand at the, with the Dodge out here in the truck division. Continuing to come, here comes Rigo with the 64. That was the former 33 truck renumbered the 64. Well, the number 22, a few bars, has got some smoke coming out of the back of that green and yellow machine. And that's going to be a tough early ending for the 22. But Mike, uh, Hugh Bowser does uh, acknowledge the black flag. As he, Mike Butts once again goes around with the 63. Another ill-handling truck, if you will. Out in front, though, all oh, Mike Whiteman. He is just running away with this field. He is about a whole turn ahead of and Brian Clark now tries after him. Here comes Ray Sawyer. Oh, Ray Sawyer tucks to the bottom side of the 21 of Brian Clark as he looks to take over the position from him. Brightman has checked out. So has Kevin Casper. Here comes Billy Flint in the 13. He now goes to the outside of the 65 of Pat McCrowan. McClellan right on the back of Johnny Trent. So uh, working his way up into the fourth position as he gets around the number two of Tom Keeper. Taking over position of the four. Keeper in good clock in six. Halfway by this time, ten down. Ten to go for your little Brayman, who comes off a turn number four. As he comes by, take a look along off the right hand shoulder of Ray Sawyer. Inside the truck is the onboard camera from Frank and Helen's video. You can get that tape later on. Put an order in for Frank and Helen. You can see what it's like to be on the truck with Ray Sawyer. Now, Mike Brightman puts the lap down on uh, the 94 truck of Doug Carrera. He goes into the infield, goes the sheet metal man, Ray Parrott. Around goes the 43 of Alan Leach. The Jimmy Henry looking dodge as he backs that truck into the infield. Well, just past the halfway point, right? And so far, he's had everything go his way. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen for long. Kevin Casper, the black and white number 28, has been closing the gap ever so slightly. And those top two trucks hit it straight away ahead of Joe LeMay and Ray Sulia. Across the stripe, they come to complete another lap. And now the 48 of Dave DeSilva sits in front of leaders. And Casper looks at the low side of Portland. Portland's got a challenge. Kevin Cass is going to use Bright as the Dave De Silva truck as a pick as he holds Brightman off. Brightman sideways. He corrects it, but he's going to lose the lead to Kevin Casper. The fastest truck on the racetrack right now may be the 24 of Ray Sawyer. As he now goes around LeMay, he has come from deep in the pack. Sawyer did start all the way back in the 13th spot as he now looks to take over the third spot from Joe LeMay. Five laps to go this time by. Fifteen laps complete for Kevin Castro in the Shady Toyota sales number 28. He sets his pace and the torrid pace it is. He's just about six truck lengths ahead of his nearest competitor, Mike Brightman. Brightman has got a lot of room between he and Sawyer. And Sawyer has now cleared the 17 truck of Joe LeMay who sits fourth now on the field. A lot of room there. Three to go this time by and a lot of lap traffic. You gotta wonder if that's gonna come into play. Oh, a 
it has come into play here before. They decided to slow up in front of Kevin Casper. He's going to run up on the back of the 12 with John McHugh. Two to go this time by. As long as nothing goes wrong, Kevin Casper is now trying to dice his way through the traffic. McHugh chops down on your leader, has him in the grass. Around goes to 94 of Don Carrera. He has the truck half in the infield. See if she can fire the truck up to get out of harm's way. McHugh has held up on the 28, and that has allowed Brighton to reel into the back bumper. McHugh again pitches the 28 to the infield. Brighton well, now drives to the bottom side. Down the back forward for the final time. It's a two truck battle. We're we'll rattle up because Brighton dives into the brakes lock. That Casper goes around. Brighton comes off the turn number four and takes the check and flag. Second will be Sully at third. will be the 17 of LeMay with the two uh, feet of four and the 21 of Billy Clark running off the top. Well, Kevin, two features, two leaders, two accidents at the end with somebody comes out on top that wasn't leading with the last lap. Unbelievable. The action, again, you've got to keep your heads up. Brightman had lost the lead. It was back about almost a half a straightaway. And Casper got caught up with some lap cars. And here comes Brightman back quick and trying to hold on, trying to take the win. So unofficially, the 27 truck has been put to the rear of the field for rough riding. Eddie Moore made the call that, that there's no need for the contact. Uh, Mike Brightman, I'm sure, is going to argue this, but the call has been made. That is going to bring Ray Soya back out of the pit area, I believe, to take a victory lap. He will pick up the win. He came from the 13th starting spot, and after contact between Brightman and the 28, picked up the win in the truck feature. That'll put him out in front of the points right away, Kevin. That's going to be tough to beat anybody to beat Ray Sawyer in the points this year now. Well, last year was an off year for Ray. Uh, he did, didn't have the success he had in the past, the previous season. Of course, he was the truck champion, uh, but uh, definitely coming out strong in 1999. Brand new truck for him as well. Last year he came out with a brand new truck, but uh, somebody wanted a little bit more than him, so he went and sold it, ran the old truck, and had some success, had a few feature wins, but did not uh, come home with a champion last season. So we for him to come out. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Seacock Sports Truck feature winner, car number, truck number 24, it's Ray Soulier. Well, I'm sure nobody was as surprised as Ray when he went to the pit area and they told him to come back out with the Le Cavern and Salisbury Auto Body, Auto Parts, uh, Frank and Helen's video, Shady Tree Auto Sales 24. And it's got to be a heartbreaker for Mike. And I'm sure the, the contact wasn't intentional. Uh, he did go into the corner deep. The last lap, the adrenaline is there. And you try, you know you've got one truck to beat, and you know you can get at least up to his door. And he went into the corner, and you could see the left front brake lock up. You saw the left front tire just lock right up with the brakes. And just went in a little bit too hard. Contact was made. And to, for when the top two drivers get together and one goes around, well, Unfortunately, they both go to the rear of the field, and that's what happened to Mike Brightman, and a tough, tough break for the purple and white Chevrolet, the King's Inn Club Oasis number 27, as he ran real, real strong. But the, there's gotta be a lucky driver and an unlucky driver. In this case, a lucky driver is the number 24, Swansea Masters, Ray Sulier. I give him a flag. I give him a flag. I give him a flag. All right. Alrighty, folks. Keep this thing working. It's a two-hand microphone ring. Uh, if you don't mind, we're, we're uh, working on only an apparent career here. But Ray, once again, your tendency to be very smooth and very patient has paid off. Uh, yeah, I hate to win it that way. Kevin was very fast and taken out on the last trip. I'd like to have seen him win his uh, feature like that. I'll take it. Well, you did a lot of work coming from a fair distance back too, Ray, and uh, saw you picking your way through the traffic. So it's also a testimony for your ability to come from behind. It's not, the truck itself really works well too. Brightman's uh, truck was my old truck. And I take it this is a brand new truck this year. Yeah, first place. Yeah. Now, nobody's going to be able to make you sell this one this year, are they, Ray? No, this is not the same. The old was the same. The one that was originally for sale, and then you sold the new one, you kept the old one, you now bought a new one, and you got an old one, so the original one. Yeah, the original one's for sale. Yeah. 
And if anybody out there understands that, God bless you. Ray, it, it's getting pretty common seeing you here uh, in Victory Lane on opening day. So welcome back once again. Oh, and what more can we say, Ray? Nothing. Keep the faith. All righty, folks. Great. Here you go, Ray Sulier, the previous Trucks Division champ two years ago, yep. making a big start with 50 points plus his heat points on the way back to the next championship, perhaps. Okay, folks, and it'll be over for three. located in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, and has all your race performance needs. That's at the center page of your program, and some of the prizes that are available is a $25 gift certificate for the Bill of Restaurants inside Battleboro.